Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in this world. This is Gloria White and the Annie Dog coming to you from Utah, USA. God bless each and every one of you. He loves us so much. Today we are going to be in two Esdras in the 1611 version of the King James Bible. And we are in chapter 11, and here is the summary of chapter 11. Verse 1, he seeth in his dream an eagle coming out of the sea. And verse 37, and a lion out of a wood talking to the eagle. Chapter 11, then saw I a dream, and behold, there came up from the sea an eagle, which had twelve feathers, red wings, and three heads. And I saw, and behold, she spread her wings over all the earth, and all the winds of the air blew on her, and were gathered together. And I beheld, and out of her feathers there grew other contrary feathers, and they became little feathers and small. But her heads were at rest. The head in the middest was greater than the other, yet rested it with the residue. Moreover, I beheld, and lo, the eagle flew with her feathers and rained upon earth and over them that dwelt therein. And I saw that all things under heaven were subject to, unto her, and no man spake against her. No, not one creature upon earth. And I beheld, and lo, the eagle rose upon her talons and spake to her feathers, saying, Watch not all at once. Sleep every one in his own place and watch by course. But let the heads be preserved for the last. And I beheld, and lo, the voice went out of her heads, but from the middle, middest of her body. And that's probably middle of her body. And I numbered her contrary feathers, and behold, there were eight of them. And I looked, and behold, on the right side there arose one feather, and reigned over all the earth. And so it was that when it rained, the end of it came and the place whereof appeared no more. So the next following stood up and reigned, and had a great time. And it happened that when it rained, the end of it came also, like as the first, so that it appeareth no more. Then there came a voice unto it, and said, Hear, Thou hast borne rule over the earth so long. This I say unto thee, before thou beginnest to appear no more, there shall none after thee attain unto thy time, neither unto the half thereof. Then arose the third, and reigned as the other before, and appeared more, no more also. Excuse me, let me read verse 18 again. Then arose the third and reigned as the other before and appeared no more also. So went it with all the residue one after another as that every one reigned and then appeared no more. Then I beheld and lo, in process of time, the feathers that followed stood up upon the right side, that they might rule also, and some of them ruled, but not within a while they appeared no more. But within a while they appeared no more. For some of them were set up, but ruled not. After this I looked, and behold, the twelve feathers appeared no more nor the two little feathers. And there was no more upon the eagle's body, but three heads that 
rested, and six little wings. Then saw I also that two little feathers divided themselves from the six and remained under the head that was upon the right side, for the four continued in their place. And I beheld, and lo, the feathers that were under the wing thought to set up themselves and to have the rule. And I beheld, and lo, there was one set up, but shortly it appeared no more, and the second was sooner away than the first. And I beheld, and lo, the two that remained thought also in themselves to reign. And when they so thought, behold, there awaked one of the heads that were at rest, namely it that was in the middle, for that was greater than the other, the two other heads. And then I saw that the two other heads were joined with it. And behold, the head was turned with them that were with it and did eat up the two feathers under the wing that would have reigned. But this head put the whole earth in fear and bear rule in it over all those that dwelt upon the earth with much oppression and it had the governance of the world more than all the wings that had been. And after this I beheld, and lo, the head that was in the mist suddenly appeared no more, like as the wings. But there remained the two heads, which also in like sort ruled upon the earth, and over all over those that dwelt therein. And I beheld, and lo, the head upon the right side devoured it that was upon the left side. Then I heard a voice which said unto me, Look before thee, and consider the thing that thou seest. And I beheld, and lo, as it were a roaring lion, chased out of the wood, and I saw that he sent out a man's voice unto the eagle and said, Hear thou, I will talk with thee, and the highest shall say unto thee, Art not thou it that remaineth of the four beasts whom I made to reign in my world, that the end of their times might come through them? And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past, and had power over the world with great fearfulness, and over the whole compass of the earth with, with much wicked oppression. And so long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit. For the earth hath thou not judged with truth. Excuse me, let me read verse 41 again. For the earth... Hast thou not judgeth with truth? For thou hast afflicted the meek, thou hast hurt the peaceable, thou hast loved liars, and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit, and hast cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Therefore is thy wrongful dealings come up unto the highest, and thy pride unto the mighty. The highest also hath looked upon the proud times, and behold, they are ended, and his abominations are fulfilled. And therefore appear no more, thou eagle, nor thy horrible wings, nor thy wicked feathers, nor thy malicious heads, nor thy hurtful claws, nor all thy vain body that all the earth may be refreshed and may return, being delivered from thy violence, that she, and that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made her. And that's chapter 11 in 2 Esdras. Whew, that sounds like justice is coming, huh? Oh, guys, hang in there. 
And as always, I love you. Oh, reminder, pray Psalm 91 daily over your family and over your house. And as always, <laughs> I love you.